God is speaking to you, dear child. Many wonder how to overcome evil but find no answer. Evil has always existed and is the great problem that affects humanity. However, the key to overcoming it is found in my word when I tell you, do not let evil overcome you, but rather overcome evil by doing good. Evil appears when good has been corrupted. Love, obedience, and honor are examples of good things, but when you allow anger, complaint, or ingratitude to take control, you stray from the right path. When you do not do good, you are opening the way for evil in your life and in the world. I want you to understand that evil is not something abstract or intangible. It is rooted within each one. It is a struggle you must face. However, you have my help to do good, even when your body and emotions resist. To overcome evil, you must make conscious decisions, act correctly and virtuously, even when you want to yield to negative impulses. Child, for example, if someone treats you unfairly and you feel anger growing inside you, Instead of responding with more anger, choose to forgive and show love. By doing so, you will be overcoming evil with good. Another example would be if someone speaks badly of you. Instead of responding with words and teeth, respond with words of kindness and understanding. Show that evil has no power over your life. The key to overcoming evil is to choose to do good, even when it is difficult for you. I will help you resist temptations and overcome evil with good. By acting with love, obedience, and honor, you counteract the effects of evil and make a positive difference in the world around you. I know it is not easy to live gloriously in such a troubled world, but I live and am here to help you do it. I love you, child. Dear friends, where do evil actions come from? Why does it prevail over good? From the human heart is where evil actions come from, and the list of sins is long, and they all contaminate us. We find this in chapter 7 of the Gospel of Mark. Whether the list is long or short is not as relevant as that we are falling into all those mistakes and sins. I want to focus on the hope that the day will come when we decide to obey and give glory to God in everything we do. And this is achieved by doing the opposite of what others do let us not be overcome. This is a powerful and challenging call that encourages us to become agents of change in a world full of evil by doing good. It is not just a personal choice, but something that God himself places in us. God works in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. God works in us both the willing and the doing according to his good pleasure. This means that when we decide to obey God, we have his strength and guidance. Doing good encompasses many virtues and attitudes such as obedience, forgiveness, mercy, compassion towards others, hospitality, truth and humility, among others. Everything good comes from God, and He is the one who enables us to manifest those virtues. Dear friends, when we choose to do good, we are following the example of our Savior Jesus Christ. He was the ultimate example of love, humility, and obedience. By following in His footsteps, we make a great difference every day. We face difficulties and temptations, 
and only with divine help can we overcome them. Good prevails over evil when God is with us. He gives us the power and direction needed to be agents of change in a needy world. Let us daily ask God that our life reflect obedience, forgiveness, mercy, and all the virtues that come from Him. It is not easy to obey God and follow His ways. However, we can be used as useful vessels in His hands if we are determined to do His will. God gives us the ability to do what is right despite the difficulties and temptations we struggle with. May His Holy Spirit guide and strengthen us in every step we take. Let us bow our faces and address the good God from whom all things come. Let us pray, Beloved God, I need your help and your strength to persevere in obedience. May your word be what teaches me and shapes my character to do what is right. Help me to bless those who curse me and to pray for those who hurt me. Forgive me, Father, for all the times I have not responded according to your will, dishonoring your name. Allow, my God, that my heart not deceive itself but be filled with love and compassion towards others. I do not want to be overcome by evil. If my enemy is hungry, help me to feed him. I long, Lord, for my life to be a reflection of your goodness and your love. If I listened to your voice and did good, the evil in this world would diminish. I trust that you will give me the tools to overcome the evil that prevails on earth. Thank you for being the source of all good, where I can turn for counsel. Thank you, my God, for your inexhaustible love and for hearing this prayer. May my life be a testimony of your grace and may you manifest your transforming power in this needy world through me. In the name of Jesus, Amen and Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, God calls us to set aside everything that inclines us towards evil and embrace the way of life that he teaches us. Our human nature tends to act in a way contrary to what God tells us, and when we are hurt or offended, it is easy to fall into the temptation of responding in the same way. However, the only way to overcome is by imposing good. Let us not respond in the same way, let us not pay with the same coin. Let us remember whom we want to serve and whom we want to obey. When we respond with kindness and generosity towards an aggressor, we leave them fighting alone because two are needed to fight. This is how we show that we are different, that we are followers of Christ, and that we desire to reflect his love in everything we do. The Bible urges us that, as far as it depends on us, we should treat everyone well, which is why it says, do everything possible to live in peace with everyone. This implies that we must strive to maintain peaceful relationships even when facing difficult situations. We cannot control the actions of others, but we can control our response. Never pay back evil for evil. Behave in such a way that everyone sees you are honorable people. With kindness and generosity, we show the world to whom we belong. Finally, I invite you to subscribe to our channel. And if you have prayer requests, Please write them in the notification box so we can pray for your lives and your family. May the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Blessings.